another very interesting time tumekutana tena na nimependa leo nije tena nionge nawe kuhusu secret mbalimbali za kufanya vizuri katika mitaani yako mbalimbali utakayofanya and finally hata kwenye mtaani wako wa mwisho ukafanya vizuri there are things which you must consider the good performance inategemea sana kwenye good preparation usiamini kwenye miujiza usiamini kabisa kwenye miujiza mwaka huu 2022 wanafunzi walisema biology exams zilikuwa ziko easy na vitu kama hivyo lakini finally unakuta kwamba katika biology exams hizo hizo hawaja perform vizuri na kuwa na A nyingi kwa nafanya analysis A kweli zipo lakini sio nyingi kama vile ambavyo watu walidhani wataokota kwa nini sio nyingi ni kwa sababu ya ile namna ambayo watu wanakuwa wana wanadhani mitiani iko mitiani iko hivyo mitiani iko in a very different way so inakuwa ni expectation ya mtu kwamba atafanya vizuri kwa sababu tu ya namna fulani ambayo ame amekalili ame claim mitiani iko lakini kumbe our teachers always they use different books they use different resources um kwa nini nimekuja kuongea tena video hii nilikuwa naendelea kuandaa kitabu changu cha advanced biology na nikawa niko sehemu ambayo inahitaji kuelezea counter current multiplier or counter current multiplication system in the loop of henry jinsi ambavyo loop of henry inafanya mechanism na nikawa natafuta hilo swali litoka nekta mwaka 2012 kama unaweza kuona kwenye notes mimi na uh, same ya study questions ambayo inaonyesha maswali iliwahi kutoka kwenye hiyo parts so nekta mwaka 2012 lakini pia kwenye nekta mwaka 2012 swali litoka maelezo ni tofauti lakini majibu yake ni yale mm, kwenye 2012 inasema describe the counter current multiplication system in the loop of henry maana yake describe ni explain by using diagrams ndio maana anaenda describe explain by using diagrams na nekta mwaka na mbili walisema give a brief explanation of how the loop of henry operates as counter current multiplier system give a brief explanation maana yake maelezo kutosha um baada ya hapo kwenye notes ambazo nilisomeaga mimi shule wakati niko shuleni kuna majibu ambayo yalikuepo kwenye review kwa hiyo nili, nilikuwa najua yale lakini yale majibu yalikuwa na nichanganya changanya unajua kama umeshawahi kuwa msomaji wa vitabu unaweza kukuta kitabu hiki kimeandika content ya fulani kitabu kingine kimeandika content ya fulani and then later you get confused kwamba which one is true now mbona ni kama hii ndio imeandika true mbona ni kama hii ndio imeandika true which one is most correct kwa kuliko kuna some few parts ambazo zilikuwa zinani confuse na nilikuwa nashindwa kuelewa sio kusema kwamba mwalimu na wewe zina kukonfuse wako walimu wengi hawaeleweki kufundisha darasani kwa sababu vile vitu wanaofundisha hawajavielewa wao wenyewe so if kitu au kielewe wewe mwenyewe uwezi kumfundisha mwanafunzi akaelewa hata siku moja so i started finding here and there finding the, the good content and the way i can find the, the best book ambayo imeelezea vizuri. Hivyo vitabu vyote ambavyo unaviona hapo ni vitabu ambavyo huwa na vitumia. Aina vitabu vyote vyote ambavyo unaviona hapo umeviona hapo ni vitabu ambavyo huwa ninavitumia kufundishia. Hakuna kitabu kati ya hivyo ambavyo sikitumii si kuandikia notes au kufundishia hakuna akipo yani. Kwa vitabu vyote hivyo mimi navitumia vitabu vyote na kila kitabu kuna pati yake ambayo imeandikwa vizuri imekuwa explained vizuri kiwango ambacho unajua kabisa nikisoma kitabu hiki nikisoma kipande hiki kwenye kitabu hiki na kwa nimemaliza nikupe mfano rahisi hichi kitabu cha 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 biological science ndicho ambacho natoa content nyingi kitabu cha biological science natoa content nyingi nyingi za kwenye notes zangu kwa sababu hichi ndio kitabu ambacho pia kina maswali yanayotoka nekta kienda kitabu cha understanding biology kitabu cha understanding biology na kitumia kujiazia maeneo ambayo biological science haijaeleweka maeneo ambayo biological science haijaeleweka natumia understanding biology kuweza kufanya kujiazia mle 
au maeneo ambayo kuna content zijaweka vizuri kwenye biological science na chukua kile kipande cha kwenye biological science na kitoa na kiingiza kipande cha kwenye understanding biology understanding biology hapa ya kijani lakini understanding biology hapa nyeusi inafanana sana na understanding biology ya kijani lakini pia inafanana sana na BS hii understanding biology nyeusi uh, hii pia kuna some parts ambazo na zichukua humu kwenye biochemistry kwenye nini na zichukua kwa sababu EBS kubwa biochemistry imeandika lakini sio vizuri sana sana EBS haijaandika biochemistry kwa namna nzuri sana Campbell biology kitabu hichi nilianza kukitumia toka nikiwa advance uh, vyote vyote except hapa get on the whole textbook of uh, medical physiology hiyo ndio sijawahi kuitumia advance lakini Campbell biology nilianza kuipenda pale ambapo nilisoma eh, mechanism of uh, glycolysis and Krebs cycle in Campbell, Campbell biology it is very well explained ndio maana nikawa nimeanza kuipenda sana Campbell biology sana 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 na mpaka sasa hivi ni moja kati ya kitabu changu ambacho wanakitumia sana especially kwenye hizo topic nilizokutajia unaona but today i have found a very interesting book the guyton and the whole textbook of medical physiology actually hichi kitabu kinatumika chuoni when i was a medical doctor student tukona kitumia hichi kitabu lakini tunavyokuwa chuo muda wa kusoma huwa nakuwa ni mchache sana and actually chuoni usoma mambo ya ajabu sana so i started finding which book can explain the physiology of um, counter candidate multiplication in a very better way I remembered my guide on the hall and because I have this book in my computer nikai search nikai fungua and I found very 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 good explanation regarding the counter current multiplication system in the guide on the hall book kwa hiyo nikaja kuona one among the very good circuit to perform well in your exam is to use a lot of book and then summarize the content you get in all of these books because uh, the teachers who compose exams they use a lot of books and they tend to summarize contents from these books ndio wanakuja kupata kitu kizima ambacho kina kuwa kinaita picture flani so ninachoweza nikasema kwa sasa ni kwamba i am still in preparation i'm still in preparation This book can be found online for free if you want it you can go and then you can download unaona hapo kwenye hiyo hapo nikirudi tu hapa nyuma hapa hapa okay, sorry so nikirudi hapa kwenye hizi nikaenda tu hapo kwenye all inakuja nikirudi hapa hapa niko kwenye images nirudi hapo kwenye all get on the whole hii hapa inakuja free textbook pdf you can download it if you want unaweza ukai download na ukai kwao unaitumia if you want but uh, i don't recommend you to use it kwa sababu utasoma na vitu ambavyo they out of syllabus and then utapoteza muda mwingi ndio maana naandaa kitabu kwa sababu vitu vingi ambavyo wewe unatakiwa visome viko kwenye vitabu lakini vile vitabu sometimes we may include other things which are out of syllabus out of scope if you are study so hautakiwi kuvijua na kama utavisoma vile vyote maana utapoteza a lot a lot a lot a lot of time so uh, actually i don't have a sufficient time to explain this mechanism of counter current multiplier in order to to answer this question but actually i've been very 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 much interested with this mechanism very 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 much interested and what i can tell you that uh, i am sure you will never found any other book which will be better than this because of the way i have used a lot of my time to prepare this book if you see these diagrams they've been designed and they have been drawn by myself in order to help to picture the content which i want to be pictured So I've been designing these diagrams myself using a lot of times you know to picture what I want to explain or what I want to be understood by students and uh, you need to know that uh, most of books 
and they have been formatted in a, in a bad way uh, i can open for you i know it's it's not such much good to to do this but let i do this for you in order you can see uh diagrams katika vita vingi unakuta ziko in a bad way diagrams ziko katika namna mbaya for example this is almost certain the regulation in a tie book kitabu chetu cha serikali i just i just simply want to show you uh, different diagrams and the way they have been drawn you can't uh, get interested to start this book you see look for example this the uh, this diagram of the orientine cycle the way it looks like and then i will bring you back to my uh, diagram of orientine cycle uh, i will bring you back to my diagram of orientine cycle and the way it it uh, looks like before reabsorption i want to go back to the liver and the diagram here we have the kidney so i am going back to the liver why do i use a lot of diagrams biology uh, needs a visual interpretation so you need to see something unatakiwa kuona kitu fulani ili uweze ku state au kusema chochote kusicho kitu now i have come back to my diagram of all in time cycle look at this diagram look the way we have arranged the molecules and the way the molecules and ingredients they have been arranged in this diagram these two uh, difference these uh, difference in uh, this difference in uh, diagrams they help to understand for example look at this diagram of counter current multiplication in our book uh, i don't say that it, uh, it doesn't have good content it has good content but uh, sometimes visual uh, information help us to understand easily rather than uh, believing that somebody can can understand even without uh, looking well or your content being uh, looking well look at these diagrams now uh, the way they look like and the way they have, they have explained this very well so you can see all of these they help us to understand well and actually this process consumes me a lot of time ina nichukua muda sana kuweza ku prepare these but i hope when i finish this work it will be one among the very interesting book which will favor a lot of students who want to pass well their uh, advanced level examinations so i am using a lot of times i i, I invest in knowledge so that to make sure that you will be able to get these contents and to pass well your exams So nacho zene kakwambia kwa sasa ni kwamba subscribe to channel and then continue to follow kila update tutakona zitoa hapa now we are preparing our website our applications kila updates if you need these notes nowadays are to sana soft copy so una update zote tukizi print tukianza kuzi distribute if you have agents wakiwa wana move kwenda mikoa mbalimbali updates zote tutakona zitoa hapa so just stay tuned stay warmly wait for the updates of this book when it will be ready and i'm sure you'll be one among the people will be benefited from this book if you simply follow me daily na kutakuwa kuna vipindi ambavyo tutakona viweka kwenye channel hapa via free via bule you path through them you learn a lot of things and then if you are interested you will go to the premium sessions where you can pay money thank you and let i wish you nice